Basically, we've been driving the Crown Victoria over here for several years as our primary patrol vehicle, but in uh, 2011, the Ford quit manufacturing that vehicle. So we had to make a decision on what type of vehicle we would switch to. A lot of things that we were testing in the vehicles were operational, operationally driven. We needed significant amount of space for all the equipment that the officers carry, transportation of prisoners, and we have a lot of electronics equipment in our patrol vehicles, which really require a lot of space in the cockpit of the car. Uh, we also knew going in that fuel efficiency was a big issue for us because the older Crown Vicks only got about eight miles per gallon. And fortunately, as we tested these vehicles, um, the Ford SUV during the testing period, which we have it on the street, got the highest fuel efficiency of the other three vehicles that we tested. As far as the officer's rating of the vehicles, they rated it um, high in many, many categories. Uh, rear storage capacity, space availability for the computer and the electronics equipment, uh, ease of exiting and entering the vehicle, uh, particularly exiting in high stress situations, uh, field-based reporting ability, vehicle handling, driver visibility. So we really tried to weigh all of that and give the officers a vehicle that they can work in for 10 or 12 hours a day because that's their office. They are in and out of that all day long. In about four months, you'll see them on the screen. And like I said, we'll be over in 22 initially. And then in the next fiscal year, we'll be over in the